Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So as many of you know, Terraria 1.4 has been out for almost two months now and inevitably I'm already seeing comments asking me what do I know about Terraria 1.4.1? So for anybody that's new or maybe out of the loop, we have known for some time that Journey's End would actually be split into two separate updates. You have 1.4, that was part one, and that contained all of the new content and features and bosses that was intended for Journey's End. And then we knew that sometime later we would get 1.4.1, which would contain a few extras that would round off the update into a nice little package that was more representational of what Relogic actually intended with Journey's End. So for those that don't know why they did it like that, basically Relogic wanted to respond to the chaos that was going on in the world, and they wanted to give people a nice little Terraria distraction, so they decided to split the update into two halves, one with the content and then one with the extras. Now, before we continue, we do actually know about maybe a potential release window for this update and a few minor things, but to set expectations where they need to be, this is not a content update. It is a minor update with very minor things, but it's still important because it is a part of a larger picture, which I feel like as Terraria fans, we can still be excited about. Now, before we continue, a portion of this video will be sponsored by Raycom, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. So to start things, let's talk about achievements. Red was asked are more achievements coming in some of the hot fixes for 1.4 and he responded that they're 11 away from 100 so they're looking to do that in 1.4.1. Now we actually do have a good idea about what some of these achievements may end up being. So this was asked before we got the update about some of the musical instruments we got such as Ivy. Somebody asked Red, can you play actual songs and if so, is there an achievement for a certain one? Red responded, this is a brilliant idea and I will do that for 1.4.1. Now real quick, leave a quick comment, what song do you think you have to play to get the achievement? Knowing Red, I'm going to be honest, it's probably some kind of meme and I can't wait. Once again, this is before the update came out, but when asked, is there a reward for getting the world 100% cleansed? Reb responded that he didn't get around to it, but he might make it an achievement later. Pre-update again, but somebody asked, is there going to be a golf-related achievement? For example, a hole-in-one. Reb responded that it's not going to be in this update, but probably for 1.4.1. And do you know what I want to see? Back in the day, on Little Big Planet, people used to make these worlds that would get you the most amount of achievements within that world, kind of like an adventure map, right? I want to see somebody make that for Terraria, where it's just a world dedicated to achievements. And when you do get that hole in one, I hope to see the screen completely covered in fireworks. I want them to make such a big deal out of it. Somebody's got to do it. So one thing we know for certain is going to be in 1.4.1 is the winners of the vanity contest that was held a couple of months ago on the Terraria forums. So if you didn't see that, here are the winners. We have five vanity outfits that are going to be added to Terraria. We still don't know whereabouts in the game these are going to be fitted in. For example, they could just be sold by the cloth year during certain conditions, but you never know. They could drop from certain bosses or certain enemies or maybe even crafted. These mock-ups are the ones that were done by the artists themselves, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the Terraria artists actually interpret them when they get added into the final update. But yeah, when asked on Discord, do you know when the Vanity Winners designs will be added? Reb responded in 1.4.1, hopefully in a few months. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the time frame of when this update's coming out. And while we're talking about certainties, we also know that 1.4.1 is going to add some of the localization that was missed out because of that like slightly rushed release. So when asked about the Steam soundtrack and whether it will be updated with 1.4 music, Red actually responded that they have one more theme to add for 1.4.1, then they're going to release the final soundtrack and apparently they're even looking into a vinyl record, which would be great. I would definitely frame that. But yeah, there's going to be a new music track in the final update. And I'm curious where it's going to fit in, considering we already have a theme for pretty much everything now. Maybe if you have an idea, do let me know. What I would like to see is this music maybe be implemented with a special seed, because Red seems to love seeds at the minute, and we'll talk about that in a second. 
But yeah, I think that would be uh, an interesting fit. So yeah, on the topic of seeds, somebody asked, what's the plans for Terraria now? Journey's End was the last major update, but will there be any mini updates containing bug fixes and small changes? Red responded, a few more bug fixes. Then 1.4 will include some things that are missing and we are done. I might throw in some seed codes randomly though. I would love if down the line, maybe for the 10th anniversary of Terraria next May, if Red would uh, continue adding these seeds, like hearing it from Pedguin as well, these seeds are such a shake-up, and I can't imagine they're the most intense things in the world to create, but if there does end up being this huge gap between Terraria Journey's End and whatever project Relogic work on next, which we'll discuss in a second, it would be great to have a few of these little seeds to kind of tide us over. When asked about how likely a boss rush is to be added, Reb responded, I'd say 50-50. So we might get a boss rush in 1.4.1, we might not. Since I know somebody might ask about this, Red was asked, in 1.4.1, are they going to be adding any more whips, like a gap between the damage between the Durandal and the Dark Harvest? Red just responded, probably not. So I'm going to kick it real quick to Pash James to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Raycon. But then after that, we're going to be talking about my hopes for Terraria 1.4.1 and also how development may change at Relogic. So see you in a minute. Today's video is once again proudly sponsored by Raycon. So if you've never heard me talk about Raycon before, this is a company that was founded by Ray J. And what they aim to do and succeed at is create a true wireless earbud that sounds just as good as some of the other premium brands out there, but they literally cost half the price. So I've been using the everyday E25s for a good couple of weeks now, mainly when I'm out on a walk because in Britain, that's all we can really do. Definitely can't go get haircuts. So um, so let me show you what they look like. They come in this great little, uh, I love this pouch a lot. It feels great in the hand. And, uh, and here they are. And once they're in, they have six hours of battery life, which is like more than enough. And they have like a really tight fit, which I quite like because when I put them in, it feels like it's blocking out all the other noise. And that's before the music has even started. So I really like these. If you do want to learn more about them, these are the Everyday E25s. And if you want to get a pair of them, I have mine in white, but you can get them in a variety of different colors. They look great. I'll leave a link to it down below, but you can go to www.buyraycon.com slash chippy and you'll save 10%. So thanks to Raycon once again for sponsoring a video here on the channel and, uh, and back with the video. Hey, welcome back. So let's talk more about 1.4.1. Now, I was actually planning to make a review soon of Terraria 1.4. I want to talk about the overwhelming positives this update has implemented and how it's changed the playstyle for a lot of Terraria players. But I did have a few small recommendations for changes, mainly just in terms of like RNG, for example. But one of the things I did want to bring up is the new Ocean Tunnel. So somebody said on Discord to Red, I like the chest in the ocean tunnel. And Red responded, thanks. I wanted to do more with the tunnel, but just never got around to it. And this is one of the things that I kind of hope gets corrected in 1.4.1, because I as well love that ocean tunnel. It just adds this new atmosphere to the ocean that it never really had before. But I wish that it had some kind of you know, aesthetic change when you're down in there and maybe even a reward just for doing it. Because I feel like an ocean chest is something that we've already had in Terraria for such a long time. And it would just be great to just have something that you only see in that ocean tunnel to just make it a little bit more memorable. Like maybe even just something that grows in there that can be used for some kind of buff that makes making a certain buff easier to craft or you know something that just emits a light to make the whole thing just even more atmospheric so it's nice that it's addressed here but yeah in 1.4.1 i would love to see that personally so talking about the future of real logic what they may develop next or how it's all going to work somebody asked red do you think you may leave a team behind to continue working on terraria or will you abandon it completely red responded i'm not abandoning it I'm leaving the future of the game in your hands, which is very poetic. And what is meant by this is that he's well aware that T-Mod Loader will eventually get updated to Terraria 1.4. 
and then it's down to the community to shape where the game goes and also down to the individual to seek out these mods and decide how they want to change up their own gameplay it's great to see and i think it's one of the best things that journey's end actually implemented in a way is this official support for tmod loader I'm so excited for it. I can't wait for um, for mod developers to get a hold of 1.4. I just know that there's going to be a million wacky whips that are going to be added. And, uh, and probably, you know, a million different versions of the Empress of Light fight. And I, and I can't wait for it. What I get from this, though, when they say they're not abandoning it, is probably like we're going to have somebody in charge of the social media team still. And we're still going to get news updates about other versions of Terraria. And I'm sure if a new generation of console comes out and a new version of the game is required instead of relying on a backwards compatible version, we might get it. Who knows? And something I found really interesting that could maybe point to the future of ReLogic and what might actually be possible, somebody asked what they use to code and what program do they use? They said they feel very inspired to try something like Terraria. Reb responded that they're using Visual Studio 2010. So can we just clarify real quick? Red's using software from 10 years ago to develop Terraria. That is such a good indication of why Terraria needs to be left behind and the next game really needs to begin. He then said he's looking forward to using Unity for the next game. If you want to start, go with Unity. Now, I'll talk about this in a future video about what I would like to see if there ever was a Terraria tomb, but fundamentally, it would always come down to the engine of the game. I would love a version of Terraria that ran on a different engine so that the developers are not restricted uh, in terms of their own creativity. I'm sure by now, they've probably had a million ideas that they would like to implement into Terraria, but the engine simply didn't support it. So I would like to see a version of Terraria, whether it be Terraria 2 or not, where they can be just a little bit more free. And, uh, and maybe one day that's what we'll see, or maybe we never will. You never know. I'm sure a lot of you have probably already assumed this, but I will be keeping a close eye on what ReLogic are up to in the future. And of course, if they've got something great to show, we're going to bring it up here on Chippy Gaming. But I think in regards to Terraria, even with 1.4.1, I have settled in the idea that this is the final version of Terraria. And I'm just really grateful that we had over nine years of free updates. Like, how cool is that? Right, so that's going to round it off for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little bit long considering 1.4.1 doesn't have, you know, the biggest content in the world. But there are some other elements that I did want to discuss. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Shout out to Raycom for sponsoring the channel. If you are new around here, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. We talk Terraria here. And soon we're going to be talking about news for other games as well, which I'm very excited about. But for now, I'll leave you with that. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.